We're going to start with an old mainstay, guys. Hell Divers 2. We haven't talked about Hell Divers 2 in a while, have we? So we're going to talk about it. Let's start with Hell Divers 2. Let's start with Hell Divers 2. Yep. Helldivers? Oh, no, nothing's wrong with that. Uh, enjoy Helldivers. I'm calling out the bad shit they do so they can make a better game. So they can stop f***ing it up and start fixing it up. I want Helldivers to be in a good place. We do have a lot of Helldivers players, which is why I still cover this game. I don't even really play the game much anymore because of, like, all the issues it's had. But um, I, when the first game first came out, I played it, like, a solid, like, 100 hour hours. Uh, I really love this game, and I love trying to make it better. We've covered Helldivers 2 in uh, probably about 20-odd videos so far on the channel. Definitely a, a, a game that I've loved very dearly, uh, and uh, one I've covered. Um, and unfortunately, I've covered uh, some not-so-great news about it uh, in the past about, what is it, like six months or so. Uh, they've had a pretty stark downturn uh, since the PlayStation Network debacle, which we covered in, in great detail. And then they try to fix it, and then they tried to fake fixing it, you know, all that stuff. Uh, but now, we have uh, moved forward, and there was a, a brand new update, which, by the way, is in general, in general, a W update. Uh, so let's check uh, Steam DB for Helldivers. Let's see how it's progressing. Let's see how it is progressing. Uh, I meant to say Helldivers 2, but okay, good, that came up. <clears throat> so, uh, we are back up to the 20,000s, which is genuinely not bad. Genuinely not bad. Uh, people were really excited about the major update. It went all the way up to 6,000. Sorry, no, no, 68,000. Numbers are hard. Uh, and then it started to get back down again. Now, why is that? Several issues. Several issues, and we're going to cover a couple of them right now. Uh, and oh, some old name gamer, you are exactly right. A big issue is a massive amount of crashes. A massive amount of crashes, and it's just like, this was like the big buff patch. They basically decided to buff every single weapon, every single item, not every single, but like most of them, most of the stratagems, because basically every single time Helldivers would have a major update, including some new story beats, including some new events, including some new this, a new planet, new whatever, new stuff, which is good. They kept nerfing every freaking weapon. And they just kept taking the L and taking the L and taking the L. And you're just like, dude, why? Why? Like, why is this so hard for you guys to understand? And it's not like they're not getting feedback. They've been getting all kinds of respectful and respectless feedback for the entire time. Uh, so it's just like, th this is very simple, open feedback. Uh, you either listen to it or you don't. And they decided not to for a very long time. And, uh, but yeah, it looks like... Looks like uh, even with a generally W update in terms of the content, they're still they're, they're like uh, mostly mixed reviews recently, uh, which is which is a major major sad thing. Uh, it's like they it's like they weren't even listening exactly, and, and and I really think that a lot of them like some of them are trying to listen, but maybe they're having like the issue that Blizzard does, where when Blizzard gets feedback, right? And I play a lot of Blizzard games. Uh, you know, I've covered a lot of Blizzard on the channel. Uh, they, they're a large ship. And when you're a large ship, you're not a very agile ship. So you kind of like are just listing one way. And you're, you're, you're fucking turning the wheel. You're turning the wheel. You're turning the wheel. And you're just still going slower, slower turning this way. And then you start to turn this way again. So it's like it's like a very very not agile uh, uh, company at this point. It feels like, um, yeah. I went to the Arrowhead car mechanic to have my brand new V8 fixed. I said, check the engine. The check engine light is on and it's vibrating really bad. So they take a look. One of my spark plugs was bad and the cylinder wasn't firing as a result. They disabled the spark. Oh god, this is so good. They disabled the spark plug in the other cylinder to balance it out. It told me that my new V8 V6 was now more balanced. Since it allowed me to try other cars in this game, other games. They were very famous for saying, well, if you don't like it, just play other games. Guess what? Everyone did. And that's why I don't play Hell Divers 2 anymore. Uh, I complained that it didn't feel the same. The power really was bad and it wasn't pulling like it used to. They told me it used to be way too powerful, but admitted that they did overdo it a bit. They replaced my tires to get a better grip and told me it should be better now. 
I started really disliking the now new V6 and I sold it and bought a 1000 cc motorcycle. It sounds amazing. I'm in love. It can really go, go, go. First service, Arrowhead Mechanics replaced my exhaust without telling me anything. This is a this is an analog to a new weapon type that the guy fell in love with playing. And so they decided to nerf that weapon type. I told them something doesn't seem right, but they insisted it was fine. The mechanic later confirmed this was an error. I bought my uh, I brought my bike back and they reverted the mistake. For some reason, this also included putting old oil back into the bike. So my engine just completely blew up. They apologized and promised to fix. Got my bike back several months later, and now it's 600 cc instead of 1000 cc. Balancing reasons. It's just too fast. Everyone is riding motorcycles, and Arrowhead wants people to try some of the other vehicles. I decided to just give up and walk. The Arrowhead mechanic dragged me into a dark alley and cut my legs off. Everyone is walking, and now that isn't even balanced. I should really try a wheelchair. What the fuck is this bastard talking about? V8, motorcycle, wheelchair, what? This is how Arrowhead patches their damn weapons. There you go. There you go. Uh, Tim B. Hortons, I look like your favorite turp. What do you mean? Yeah, this might be one of the funniest. <laughs> Holy shit, man. I'm gonna give it an award. Uh, you know, I have steam points. Let's give it, a, let's give it a, uh, let's give it a saucy. Let's give it a saucy. I'm gonna give it a saucy. I just wasted steam points on that. Why I don't use steam points for anything else. There you go. Yeah, um, I, I will say that this really encompasses a lot of the issues that uh, that Helldivers 2 has been having. So let's go to present day. Present day. Yeah, you can find that on Steam. It's so funny. Um, we are in a state where now, as of a week ago, Helldivers announced that they're locking new stratagems behind a paywall. Now, remember, guys, when we first started playing uh, um, uh, Helldivers 2 and we started really liking Helldivers 2? And one of the reasons we really liked Helldivers 2 was that they didn't lock shit behind a paywall. They didn't make it so you have to pay money through the nose in order to play things. And they reveled in how fair they were and we reveled in how fair they were with their monetization. And as a result, we used to spend more money on the game because we're like, wow, they earned our money. We should do this better. And uh, we should really, you know, reward devs that do this. And so we spend a whole bunch of money on the game. Out of love for the game. And out of respect for developers that respected your time and your money. Yeah, those days look like they're long gone. Helldivers 2 has announced a new premium war bond called Chemical Agents. The new content is themed around using noxious gas to fight back against Terminated Scourge. And there's nothing wrong with locking weapons behind, uh, you know, the, strat the stratagems. Sorry, uh, the uh, uh, locking new weapons behind the premium war bonds and everything like that, especially because you used to have the non-premium war bonds that were being updated. The non-premium war bonds, we haven't had a new one in how long? Uh, uh, old Lane Gamer, buddy, you played this game a lot. When was the last time we got a non-premium um, uh, war bond? <clears throat> Chemical Agents is a war bond that contains two stratagems. For those unaware of the game's terminology, a premium war bond is a war bond that costs super credits, the premium currency of Helldivers 2. You can either grind out the super credits by finding them in missions, or you can find them uh, by buying, sorry, buy them with real world money. Stratagems, up to this point, have never been in a premium war bond, ever. Literally ever, that I know of. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, some old lame buddy, but anyone else who plays the game regularly still. But as of my knowledge, it never... Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> it just says it. Until now, premium war bonds have never included stratagems. A Chemical Agents features two, the TX-41 Sterilizer and the AX-TX-13 Dog Breath. I do like the name Dog Breath. Respectively, these are essentially gas variants of Flamethrower and the Guard Dog. Adding stratagem variants to the war bonds is new with chemical agents, but our designers felt that since gas is a crowd control tool, it made more sense to release stratagems and let Helldivers choose the primary weapons they love the most. Not only that, but this is bringing some variety to the chemical agents. Chemical agents will also uh, add new poses, patterns, gas grenades, stim pistol that let you shoot allies to heal them, and two new armor sets. Um, people are well received. I did not hear this. Dude, I heard that people were pissed about this. Was this well-received, guys? Because, like, I thought this was a bad idea. Basically baking, uh, breaking precedence to what is included in a premium war bond and what is not. 
Because as of now, as of the game has almost been out for nine months, almost an entire year. And before this point, stratagems were not included. And now stratagems are. I think this actually does more to erode trust than almost anything else. I, I, I think it, I think this is a bad idea. I think this was a bad idea. But, um, false and misleading? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, okay, so people are already calling this, this article false and misleading. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is, uh, l let's, let's see what people are thinking. It's hell over. Helldivers 2 is locking each agent beyond a paywall. Can they ever recover? It's honestly hilarious how this game could have been game of the year. It was my game of the year for many months until all this stuff happened, by the way, guys. Uh, and the devs completely destroyed it with community managers, uh, who, uh, were, like, banning people left, right, and sideways for, you know, nothing in general and so on and so forth. The Sony fiasco, which they didn't actually fix. Yeah, here we go. Lie that they won't go through with it, and then when the heat died down, they didn't go through with it. Then nerfing all the weapons, and now this. And we used to not have options. We used to not have a really good sci-fi dystopian cooperative shooter with good feeling combat and stuff before, but now we do. Now we do. We have Space Marine 2. We have, um, uh, you know, all kinds of other games that are coming out, that have come out. Um, and, uh, I think this is, uh, I think this is a big problem. I think this is a big problem. Yeah, it is a paywall. It is, it is still a paywall, and it's a new thing behind the paywall. I think that, uh, they are going to have issues going forward. Because every time we saw in the, uh, we saw in the Steam database. Let, let's see, did I, did I close that? I shouldn't have closed that. Steam DB. <clears throat> Every time you have a major update that you somehow cut yourself uh, off at the knees with, you basically erode any future gains you can possibly get. That is the issue here. And that is what Helldivers needs to stop. They need to have some solid updates with W's and not L's. Otherwise, they're going to fall the way Blizzard did. Where Blizzard for World of Warcraft, had three trash-ass expansions in a row. And, like, the first one wasn't too bad. And then BFA came out, and that was much worse. And then freaking um, uh, Shadowlands came out, and that was abysmal. And then Dragonflight came out, which revamped the gameplay and made everything really fucking good, right? But it wasn't enough. It was enough to make the gameplay good for anyone who stuck with the game, but it wasn't enough to bring people back. And then they needed two, uh, they needed a second good update in a row with, uh, what's it called? Uh, with, uh, the new one, War Within. And now gamers are actually getting back in the game. People are actually buying the game in higher numbers for the War Within and so on and so forth. It, it, it you need multiple just W's in a row without having massive L's. And it's not like, it's not like, uh, you know, Dragonflight didn't have any L's, but I'm just saying like in general, I think that you're going to have to have multiple really good updates for Helldivers 2 before the game really tries to turn a new leaf. Anyways, that's my entire diatribe. What do you guys think of the in the comments below? Do you think the stratagems are worth it? Do you think it's not a big deal? Am I making too much of a big deal? Do you think the crashes are, are too overblown? A lot of people are complaining about it. Uh, I didn't really go into details because it's just like a lot of people are having crashes and not really much to cover. Um... But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys think they're turning over a new leaf? I genuinely hope so. I would love to see this game succeed. Uh, but I think that they've had a considerable number number of L's recently. And um it's it's been uh it's been <laughs> it's 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 been not good, man. It's been not good. And, and like also I think that we should really like end with the uh with the gaslighting of the super fans of community being like, oh, don't worry, guys. Yeah, 25,000 is completely normal. This is the expected number at the beginning. No, no, it was before the game became big. And then when it became really, really big, like, all of a sudden, the base number of what they thought was a normal number of having people in their live service game was a, a higher baseline. And it's just been a steady decline with very, very few upswings. <clears throat> with all the buffs, it's fun to play. Yeah, exactly. For those that can actually play. 
Exactly, Chad Wolf's eye. What I was covering earlier that you missed was that a lot of people are having crashes. We actually had a wonderful new friend come in here, some old lame gamer, and he he was talking about the massive number of crashes. He can barely play the game. Uh, that's the big problem going on. Between that and the um, the uh, the premium uh, stratagems uh, being locked behind a paywall, which is a change in precedence. And by the way, something that's monetary, like premium stratagems being put behind a paywall or, you know, so on and so forth. These types of major issues are usually things that publishers mandate. It's usually things that publishers mandate. And who is the publisher? Sony. Sony's the publisher. And we all know how cash grabby Sony is now, especially with live service games. They've shown it with Concord. They've shown it with, you know, the other five live service games that they tried to make over the past year that have died and so on and so forth. There we go. So anyways, let me know, guys, what you think in the comments below. Uh, are you still playing Helldivers? What issues do you have with Helldivers? Do you think Helldivers is in a good place? What can they fix going forward? I will cover every single comment. Thank you so much and hope to catch you in the next video. The lovely Shadow Wolf sign, the super credits. Um, uh, what do you mean? The premium war bond is bought with super credits. Yes. Yes. And yeah, a lot of people have a lot of super credits because the people who play the game a lot are able to grind the game out a lot. The problem is a lot of people don't play the game in that high numbers and that high amount of hours anymore. So it kind of compounds with each other. It's not the same situation it used to be with the super credits being so plentiful. They still are pretty plentiful, but the fact is it's still a change in precedence.